A scatter diagram, you can also call this a scatter plot, is a graph that shows the relationship between two quantitative variables measured on the same individual. So each individual in the data set is represented by a point in the scatter plot. The explanatory variable is plotted on the horizontal axis. The response variable is plotted on the vertical axis. And once we have all the data points plotted, we can look at the resulting picture and get an idea whether the variables are related or not. So linearly related, then we say that they're positively associated if whenever the value of one variable increases, the value of the other variable also increases. And negatively associated if whenever the value of one variable increases, the value of the other variable decreases. In this first picture on the left, we would say that this scatter plot shows a linear relationship. A linear relationship basically means that we can see some type of a straight line pattern. And this would be positively associated because as our explanatory variable increases, our response variable also increases. In other words, our straight line pattern is going up as you go from left to right. In this graph on the right side, again we can see somewhat of a straight line pattern, but it's going down as we go from left to right. So this would still show a linear relationship, but the two variables would be negatively associated. Now some other types of relationships we can see from scatter diagrams. In this one, it looks like there's a relationship, but it's not linear. It doesn't have a straight line pattern. This one also shows some type of a relationship, but it would not be a linear one because this is not a straight line pattern. And in this last one on the right, there doesn't seem to be any relationship between the variables, linear or not. Now if we're just looking at linear relations, then we have some further breakdowns of what type of relations we can have. This one would have a perfect positive linear relation. These points are exactly in a straight line, which gives us a perfect linear relationship, and the line is going up as we go from left to right, so that makes it positive. So this would be a perfect positive association. Now these two would also both be linear relationships and positive linear relationships. This one would be a fairly strong linear relationship because the straight line pattern is fairly obvious. In this one, the data points are much more spread out and the straight line pattern is not as strong, so we would call this a moderate positive linear relation. Here are the other types of linear relationships we can have. This one, again, since we have a perfect straight line pattern, but it's going down from left to right, this would be a perfect negative linear relation. And then here we have a strong negative linear relation because the straight line pattern is still fairly obvious. And in this one, the straight line pattern is quite a bit harder to see, so this would be a moderate negative linear relation. Let's look at an example of scatter plots. The data shown in this table is based on a study for drilling rock. The researchers wanted to determine whether the time it takes to dry drill a distance of five feet in rock increases with the depth at which the drilling begins. So depth at which drilling begins is the explanatory variable x and the time in minutes to drill five feet is the response variable y. We're going to draw a scatter diagram of the data and then comment on the, on the association between the two variables. 
Here's our data again. And here's our scatter plot. So notice again that each one of these rows in our data table becomes a point on this graph. So if we look at this first one, our x is 35 and our y is 5.88. So all we're doing here is plotting points just like you would have done in an algebra class. For this point we'd have 35 for the x and 5.88 for the y and so on. Each one of these points on the graph represents one of these rows on the table. Now looking at our scatter plot, there's not a strong straight line pattern here, but it does appear that in general the data points go up as we go from left to right. And it's somewhat of a straight line pattern. So we would say that our two variables are linear related with a moderate positive association.